Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Hello, our great, Hi. beautiful web talkers. That's such a pleasure to have you here. And uh, today is Monday, and uh, as usual, uh, from recent time, we have uh, Jay. We have Jay as a guest, uh, but actually, you are not a guest. You are the host. <laughs> ah, why? <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in. Jane, here's uh, some friends that uh, first time uh, they um, uh, in our chat. Please tell uh, tell them about yourself. Uh, well, my name's Jane Bayliss. I live in England in the southwest. Um, I'm retired now. I used to be a uh, tutor to people with learning difficulties and, and uh, the rest of the community and I taught art, yoga and pottery. Now I'm retired I can do what I like so I'm making art pieces. I, I use things I found in nature. I go for long walks and find things I can use. Mm. I'll show you what I I'll show you what I found today, and as the subject is weather, it's a very good one. It's a crow feather I found oh, today. Yeah. And it's got it's got a rainbow on it. I don't know if you can mm -hmm. quite see that, but it's very beautiful. So I'll use that in one of my pictures or something. <laughs> Thank you. This is Jane, a very nice job. <laughs> <laughs> a good nice job, a very nice job to be retired. Yes. And so to be the owner of our time. Yeah. I like being retired very much. <laughs> yeah. Friends, uh, introduce yourself, please, shortly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's start from uh, Rita. Uh, well, I am, I am Rita, I am from Italy, and I live in Italy, in the southern part of this beautiful country. I was a teacher, and now I used to be a teacher, and now as Jane, I am a retired one, and so I am totally owner of my time. And I love this position because now, I love this position, but I love also to be, uh, to, uh, when I remember my past, Days, of course, at school because I love it also my teaching, okay, and yes. staying with my friends and with my students. It was a very wonderful, a really wonderful experience. But now I am totally owner of my time. I can go and walk. I can. I. I. I permit myself not to watch the clock, okay. And so this is a very, a very nice position for me, okay. Yes. So, for me. Thank you. Nelutza. Yeah, well, uh, my name is Nelutza. I'm your friend, you know, I like to say these things always. Um, I'm a coach. I'm living in uh, France, but I'm from Romania. And um, always I'm talking about unconditional love. <laughs> yeah, so this is me. That's true, thank you. Vyacheslav, please introduce yourself. <laughs> no, uh, you, you muted Vyacheslav, unmute yourself, please. He's getting there. Uh... And now you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we hear you. Yeah, yes, okay, I want you, to man. introduce myself, but uh, each every RD knows me, yes, and... Yeah. Uh, Rita knows me, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to see you today again because yesterday we uh, get got to know each other, yeah. So, but uh, I see new people here, yeah, and I want to to know about them. I want to get acquainted. It's, it will be a great pleasure for me to get new friends. So. What do you want to know about me? Please ask. <laughs> Just <them>. shortly, <laughs> shortly introduce. Where are you from? What? You're doing well, and I am from Ukraine. I am coming from Ukraine. This is uh, Kiev region. 
Uh, now I am living in Kyiv region, but uh, my natural place, uh, place of birth, I am coming from Priazov region. This is not far from Crimea Peninsula. Maybe you know, yes? <laughs> Crimea Peninsula. Oh, uh, teacher already knows it's very good, yeah? Because we practically have, this, uh, have the same history, because we are coming from former Soviet Union. <laughs> we both dislike this state, yes? But because this was a uh, Terrible experience, yes, yes, it was terrible experience of communism, of uh, national oppression, of, uh, I don't know, I don't like to speak about all that stuff, yeah? But many people maybe don't know geography of our former imperial motherland, yeah? Yes, yeah. this is former Soviet Union, but now it's Ukraine, <laughs> now it's Ukraine. So no, I'm good. living here, I am... Uh, I even changed uh, my place of living because now I live in Kiev not because I planned it. I didn't have such an idea to live in Kiev before, yeah? But now because of this Russian intervention to Ukraine, you know, maybe from uh, mass media, yes, many people from my region changed their place of living. Yes, because of uh, this war, terrible war that we have in Eastern Ukraine, many people had to escape, yes, because it's, and this terrible tragedy continues. And even I uh, had to change my place of living. Why it happened? It happened because my daughter was just 10 days old. Imagine that, just 10 days, 10 days. It was a, a little baby. And uh, in our city, we had tragic events. Dozens of people were killed. Dozens of people were killed because of aggression, they just bombarded our city, just bombarded our city terribly. And so we had to leave, we had to leave to change So, yeah, so yeah. sorry, uh, I know yeah, yeah. about um, political situation, but please yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, forgive me, we are gathered here to um, talk to Jane. Uh -huh. Jane is it's best to leave politics out of it today yeah. we're here to talk about the weather yeah. but what I'd like to know is you've only got a number on your picture what is your name my name is Vyacheslav yeah right thank you yeah 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 my name is Vyacheslav oh, oh, you asked me about biography of me and I decided to tell you why I'm in Kiev now. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say that this is not my uh, my natural place. I wasn't born here. Yes, I just came here. And, uh, right. Okay, okay. okay. I had an experience of uh, teaching uh, at the university. I had a legal education. I, I am a lawyer by profession. Yeah. Yes, I studied history, studied law at the university and uh, English language. This is Russian and English languages. Right. Okay. Now I uh, have a private, private business, small private business. It has relation to teaching, to communication, to uh, how to say it's, it's difficult to describe. Now, if you wanna uh, survive in this interesting time in Ukraine, you should do many things. <laughs> and I'm trying to do this many things. But English is my passion. I enjoy English language. Uh, for me, uh, it's not easy. I don't take it easy. No, some people take it easily. They take it without any problems. But I, I'm not. Uh, I don't uh, like to feel this. Um, you know, some people envy. They say me, "Oh, this guy takes easy. This guy, that guy, is, uh, doesn't work hard and uh, speaks super and reads uh, fiction and all this stuff." I say, "No, don't worry." Because what you have, God gives you. God gives you what you have. And yeah, you yeah. Use what you have. Yeah. And therefore, for me, for me, is an example. That's because good. he's a hardworking guy, and I take him like uh, I don't know. Makes so really, really, I don't, I don't want to give details, but really, I take him like example of myself in many things. Yesterday, I heard this story. Uh, sometimes I listen to these episodes on YouTube. Yeah. Maybe recordings of your communication. Okay. Oh, okay, so, friends. Sorry. <laughs> Let's uh, move to our subject. 
about where they, yeah. even though it is a trivial subject, everyone talks about weather every day, but um, uh, it is always interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, uh, teacher, I just didn't know the subject of this discussion, and that's why I uh, maybe maybe if you uh -huh. plan to talk about the weather, but I didn't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's uh, uh, sorry for that because I uh, announced uh, about the topic on web talk, but didn't. Um, yes, but I, I missed. You. I missed. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Yes. that's okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, Jean, Jean. Uh -huh. I miss I miss the topic, but anyway, I think it's not important, so we can participate as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, uh, we we know that uh, some of the name of the British of Britain of Britain. And we uh, say it as uh, Foggy Albion. Mm -hmm. Foggy Albion. And so it um, characterized, um, describes about weather. And uh, so <laughs> we know that um, almost um, around the year, uh, it's foggy days and raining days. Uh, is it comfortable for you to live in such um, not sunny, different weather? Yeah, not uh, sunny um, <laughs> country. Yeah, uh, when it comes to summer, I don't put my winter clothes away because we've just had ten days of it's really hot and sunny, and it was lovely and. Oh. Everyone thinks, oh, summer's here. And then yesterday it got really cold. So I, it, I like it when it's colder while we're in lockdown because it means that the park is going to be nice and empty. If it's a sunny day, everyone goes to the park. So personally, I like it quiet. I like to just go and sit, well, do a walk and then sit for a while so i like it today and it's very windy that's why i've been finding things like feathers mm -hmm. very windy today today yeah. is really windy uh-huh yes uh, but I'll, I'll, give you, you I'll give you an e i'll give you an english saying is that uh it's not a problem with the weather it's a problem with the clothes you're wearing Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If it's cold, put a jumper on. <laughs> I guess uh, everybody uh, of um, of you of Englishmen uh, have raincoats and uh, rubber oh, yes. rubber boots. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> and sandals, sandals and shorts <laughs> for a sunny day. Uh, if we have a, if we have a sunny day, all the English rush out into their back garden and have a barbecue. Mm -hmm. But if a cloud comes over and it starts raining, we're still out there trying to have a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> we don't but, mind. We're used to it. But I but I never heard that um, there are uh, any beaches uh, on. Uh, oh, in England, got some lovely, yeah, we've got some lovely beaches. Yeah, uh -huh. um, have a look at Cornwall if you type in online Cornwall. Beautiful beaches there. We Cornwall. Have the, you have to remember we have the Atlantic Ocean on one side. Mm -hmm. Cornwall is very popular for surfing. We have mm. big, big waves coming wow. in there. It's beautiful. I love Cornwall. Very the, rocky coastline. That the ocean warm? No. Uh, are the ocean warm? Not cold? No. Cold. Yeah, it's very cold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if people like to <laughs> plunge into uh, warm water. <laughs> 
it's all about but like i said eddie it's all about the clothes you're wearing if you go surfing or something like that in the sea you wear a wetsuit to keep the warm in you know a wetsuit like a rubber a rubber suit you wear to go in the sea mm -hmm. you may not see those mm -hmm. it keeps you warm anyway you can't go in just hey. with, yes you know how we say in Italy when we when we have to go to England, we repeat ourselves that we have to wear in a in a sort of onions. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, so, yeah, this is this was my experience when I was in England and also in right. Scotland, was so cold and so windy. Oh yes. Yes. So I was wearing it in a sort of onions, and so first pullover, second pullover, third pullover, one pullover, <laughs> yes. and then the umbrella, and then the scarf, and then the glasses. <laughs> and, <laughs> and a big bag in case the sun comes out, and then you put jumper, second jumper, all goes in the bag. <laughs> This is a good trick also in the airport. When you, oh, and yeah. me, for example, I am very, maybe I am insecure. And so I want to have with me a lot of my personal things. And also my suitcases are also so heavy. And so sometimes I have a first jumper on myself, second jumper, <laughs> third jumper. And I try to have my suitcase more light. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, uh, Alexandra, uh, Vyacheslav, uh, say something. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh, okay. okay, when I came here, living here, I, uh, even, even, even now, I cannot get used to the local climate because I came uh, from rather a uh, hot place because as of sea, uh, in summer it's, uh, it's rather hot and in spring we have a uh, very warm climate. And when I came to Kiev, I couldn't get used for a long period of time. And even now, I'm suffering because of cold. Because really, really, for me, this climate is not, uh, uh, is not appropriate. I, um, I don't feel comfortable here in Senso. And now, now we have rather late spring. Now this spring is not warm. Winter was rather warm, but spring is late. And we have cold days cold days and I'm waiting for this summer when summer comes, when warm day will come. I'm waiting for them. Yes. And uh, I'm suffering a bit. Really? I'm suffering a bit. But now we have a sunny day and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy today because even not looking at this uh, quarantine, this coronavirus, I will go outside all the same because it's, it's impossible to stay at home and you feel this Occasional sunny day, really occasional. And I, I even cannot understand local people. Local people sometimes tell me here, when you have 25 plus, yeah, 25, they tell me, oh, this is very hot. This is very hot. <laughs> yeah, they feel sick. They feel terribly. What you, what you say, 25, it is, it is hot? It is cold because summers, if you want to swim in the sea, when I swim in my sea, yes, I enjoy my uh, Azov Sea, yes. When I swim in the sea, uh, temperature should be plus 30. And at that time, I feel comfortable. Because I, I noticed very strange, maybe maybe it sounds strangely, maybe uh, people from Italy don't support me. But now I noticed the very interesting. This summer I was in Bulgaria. Yes, if you know, this is uh, climate in summer is uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's uh, perfect for swimming. But uh, when I was younger, much younger, I could swim in the very cold water. When it was cold, I could swim without any problems. But now, when water is uh, not cold, but just, I don't know, maybe it seems to be not warm as I like, yeah? I'm afraid to swim. Maybe this is my complex. What, what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> I am afraid to see because yeah. I always think maybe something will happen with me if I um, go to cold water. If we come to cold water, something will happen, and I don't go too far from the coastline. I stay, especially in Black Sea. 
because black sea is different from Azov sea. It's not so uh, comforting. Uh, it's not so suitable. Tem I'm not talking about temperature. Temperature is super, it's fine, but this is stormy often. And it's very deep. Azov sea, when you come into Azov sea, it's not deep. It's like, like in, in the pool. You are swimming in the pool. And I enjoy it. It's not like ocean, but Black Sea resembles an ocean. Always windy, always stormy, and temperature, if no, no temperature, but um, I don't know, I don't know. This condition of water is changeable. In five minutes, you you have uh, different, for me, for me it's, it's, it's very, very, very uncomfortable. I enjoy Black Sea, but, um, but as of sea, I say, it's like a pool, like swimming pool. You come and think about it. Nothing, yeah. <laughs> this is what I... That you have to, to practice that place uh, dedicated to children, to kids, where the water are very, very shallow, uh -huh. and so just you know, uh, they arrive to your knees, and so you are in a safer position if you, if you practice the place uh, dedicated to children, to kids, very little children. <laughs> okay, so... But my daughter, my daughter, she was, uh, she was just this summer, she was four, now she's five years old, yeah? But she was afraid to swim in the Black Sea. When I took her uh, to swim in the sea, she was afraid. She was crying. She was crying, really. Uh, Daddy, take me out. Take me out from here. I don't want to swim because the sea is so big. So I don't know. She was afraid. But in the pool, in swimming pool, oh, she... Enjoy swimming in the pool. She was a very take me to the pool. I wanted, I said, What is a pool? Pool, this is just water full of chlorine. Uh, what's a pleasure to swim there? She said, No, no, I like. And one day she even got sick, even got sick. So much swimming, and I couldn't take her out. Daddy, I don't want to go out. I don't want to go out. And she got sick. We had high temperature up to 39. So, Thank you. Dangerous. <laughs> Thank you, Vyacheslav. Yeah. Alexandra, yeah. join us. <laughs> yeah. About the weather. Yeah. And as you know, lots of people think in Russia we have only cold weather. Mm -hmm. But it's not true. It depends on the area which uh, where we live. For instance, like Russia has 86 regions. Wow. And for instance, I live for years in the, beyond the Arctic Circle. Usually wow. the weather was so cold. Yeah. Uh, even even today we have we we have some snow. Yeah. Um, we still, <laughs> we, still have, we still have some snow in the, in the northern part of Russia. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> when people think, listen to me speaking about Russia, they the first the first thing think they listen her think of that. It's, it's like, how do, you, how do you live in Russia? <laughs> Usually, it's so cold there. How you do, how do you live that, that? And I know in some, par, in some parts of Russia, even we don't have snow, like in Black Sea, the, the, the southern part of Russia, people don't, don't have snow. But the place where I live, we have, we have, we have, um, not northern lights, northern oh, lights. Uh, even in even in summer, in the in wow. the summer time. Yeah, it was so great. It was so great uh, to see. To see it because um, unusual yes. when summer. So we have summer, and we are able to see some snow in June or July oh. or something like that. Yeah, it was like. Wow, and the temperature was maybe like minus 30 degrees, minus 30 wow. degrees uh, in, in, in winter, winter, the, the average temperature. <laughs> but for me, it was great to live there because, you know, we have two, maybe nine months, winter month, winter, during the year. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine how people think about Russia. It's, maybe it's just a stereotype. I don't know. And they think mm, we can't live here. It's impossible to live to live 
in Russia or something like that. And lots of people think of that all the time. How how do you live mm-hmm. in your in your in your city? In your city and how and when I told them everything is possible to live here because uh, it's just like I need a lot of time to stay to stay here and live here because I have some friends from the UK and the United States here in my city and they told me the same how how to live here yes I imagine you have to learn how to live there what to wear yeah. when it's so cold yeah as um, they can't believe it how yeah. There's no problem, just uh, everybody has uh, fur coats. <laughs> well, maybe every, maybe. Maybe. Uh, well, I live, people can't imagine it, can't imagine it. Do you know, do you know why, why usually we ask you, how do you live in Moscow, in Russia? Because maybe we have in our eyes that romantic scenes of Dr. Zhivago movie. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Zhivago, uh, I watch it, I watch it at school. Do you remember, Jane, do you remember Lara and Zhivago, okay? Yes, yeah. I remember it. Romantic love story in Russia, um, completely full of snow, and yeah. so we have that. We have that scene in our yeah. eyes, and so we call you. We, we say you, but how do you live there? Completely <laughs> <laughs> under the snow. Yes, but in- okay. I'm good to. I'm good to. I'm good to, to live in here, right? Yeah, just a personal experience, and I live here during my life. Yeah, I am joking because I was in Moscow, but I remember I was wearing very, very light, very light gloves, and so I know that there is summer also in Moscow. I'm just joking because I was remembering that fantastic movie, Dr. Zhivago. Yeah, uh, with a with a such a great no, such a great novel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they wore yeah. they wore such beautiful furs in, in that film, didn't they? I remember yeah. that. It just no, yeah, I remember it. furs, lovely. And Anna Karenina, Anna Karenina. Yes, um, yes, yeah. That's but, but we do, it. we do get an idea of what another country is like, don't we? And it's not necessarily the correct thing. Everybody thinks that it rains in England all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I thought of that as well. And uh, yeah. But, we do but, have, we do have sunny days <laughs> i know it i know it of course based on the the pictures with, when my friends send me yeah i know it. oh yeah <laughs> know but it. Uh, what about uh, weather difference weather of, of from england and ireland uh, not a lot of difference. I think we get more rain in Ireland. Mm-hmm. Not more uh, rain in the a bit further west than where I am. I just uh, was really surprised when I uh, uh, came across with a picture from Ireland, and uh, there were palms um, growing and the. Um, in Ireland, and is it? Um, I don't know. Maybe it is uh, fictional. Maybe it is. Uh, b- but uh, I got the idea that it is really warm country. <laughs> no, no. But, it's it's warm enough. They have sunny days too, but it does rain a lot in Ireland. But of course, that's why Ireland is so beautiful and green, because they do get lots of lots of rain to make the grass grow. Mm-hmm. Lots of grass and trees. It's very beautiful in Ireland. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, actually, <laughs> in my country, in my uh, place where I live. Uh, he is uh, soft weather. We have no 
frosty uh, frosty weather we have no uh, frosty winter uh, <coughs> but um, i hate uh, winter i hate snow actually <laughs> and <laughs> so, you have to go to the lower part of russia you will yeah. like you like snow i'm sure <laughs> i like i like snow for two days because yeah. the day it's coming down it looks beautiful the next day you go out and all the kids are having fun they make snowballs and throw at each other um <laughs> and then one more day and it all starts to look dirty and not nice and I want it to go then. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree with it, Jane, because snow is a fantastic thing, but just it for is. today. Yeah. I have, my husband lives when he was a child. Uh, he lived in a very village, in a very small village in the center of Italy, a village in the mountains, okay? And so it was very unusual for him to stay with snowing for a lot, many, 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 many days. But I can assure you that it was very difficult, a lot of troubles, because you have to clean your road, your path in front of your house. You have no possibility to buy some food because uh, uh, there were no delivery. Uh, the school were closed for the snow. Um, a lot of problems, a lot of troubles, okay? So snow is a fantastic thing just for two days. If mm -hmm. you have to stay some more days, you have to move yourself to a very luxurious hotel, okay? <laughs> Where you can stay in a, in a hotel with a lot of waiter and waitress uh, ready to, to satisfy <laughs> your needs. And so, yeah, that's a good condition. It is, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Notes. Uh, a few years ago, I stayed in Cairo for a few months in, in Egypt. Beautiful climate there, hot, sunny all the time. But because I'm English, every morning I get up and open the curtains and think it's sunny. And then the next day I open the curtains and I think it's sunny. <laughs> and it goes on like that. I always look out the window in the morning to see is it rainy, is it snow, is the sun shining. It's different every day in England. So I drove myself crazy in Egypt looking for the weather. Uh, in in my place, uh, the summer is really hot. It's uh, there are a lot of uh, boiling boiling hot days wow. <laughs> even even uh, asphalt is melting and wow. it is really hot and especially when it's getting dark it's uh, closer to the evening and to the night and um, the ground uh, gives back warm and mm. it's really um, tough air and uh, so hot we uh, we had no any air conditioner before, but uh, <laughs> right now we have. And uh, I al always say to myself, wow, how we mm, could live there <laughs> when we had no air conditioner. It's <laughs> horrible. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, I think that everything in our life has a bad and a, a good um, side, okay? For example, uh, regarding this, uh, this climate, this we the weather in general, I, for example, I am a bit envious of the uh, English weather because you, Jane, have a wonderful garden. You have a wonderful oh, garden, that's true, yeah. wonderful flowers. Because at eight o'clock, there is a lot of foggy, a lot of rain, a lot of wind. Then after 10 minutes, a very, very wonderful sun. And then other 10 minutes of rain. And so your, your, your plants are wonderful. Okay, wonderful. Instead, if you come to Italy at the moment, in, in summer especially, everything is totally dry. Everything is always dead mm -hmm. <laughs> about plants and flowers. It's so difficult because you have to water them 
in, a, in a, an artificial way and it's not so simple okay and so you when I when I when I am in England I I, I am very stunned uh, looking at your flowers because they are wonderful really exceptional they are fantastic mm -hmm. and so this depends on your weather of course okay in Italy for example it's too dry too hot and so it's difficult for me I'm not a green thumb, I'm not a green thumb. But anyway, in general, it's difficult to have a very nice garden, very nice flowers uh, and uh, like, uh, stuff like that, yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, we are, we are very lucky for that. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, I think you have no uh, any heat uh, in your home mm -hmm. uh, to make it air. Yeah, yeah, to make air hot. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, we got heat. Uh, yeah. Is it good to live in winter without heat? No, it would be too cold. Cold? Mm. Yeah, yeah, you need, you need a heater in the winter. Uh, uh, some people uh, supply themselves with coals and wood, isn't it? Yes, yes, and some people have central heating. Mm -hmm. you, choo ah. you choose what you want. England mostly is, is small houses. We're, we're now building more flats, but mostly people... I, I live here in a, a small house, um, just me, so I choose what I want here. I have some gas heating. Friends, so sorry, but time go flies so fast. It's almost it um, one minute left. And let's uh, wish uh, everybody good day. Have a nice um, evening. And <laughs> uh, uh, w but I hope we'll meet uh, next Monday. Yes, so I'll be back again if you want to join me. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy, enjoy your time, enjoy your yoga, enjoy your walking, enjoy I your will. flying. Thank you. Okay? Okay, and so I'll see you again. I'll see you again next see Monday. You later. Right. Goodbye. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is love. Thank you. Yes, Goodbye, yeah, everybody. Was, it was yeah, wonderful meeting. That was wonderful meeting. I'm very happy to get new friends and to see people that I know since since yesterday. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it was wonderful. <laughs> it was uh -huh. very nice. We will yeah, create yeah. a lot of chats. <laughs> okay. 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 Bye, bye. See bye. you. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Thank you. Mm-hmm.